Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. Now, Latavo is going to show us how to move through this. So click on the first activity, the first challenge. Right, me and Latavo are busy. We're not going to watch this video, but Purple Mash gives you like videos that you can watch. If you don't understand, then you can watch those videos. All right, Latavo, let's go and we drag this when it says when the snail race, make your make it move one step after clicking on the background. Now, let me show you the background. Go on there, click on design. Good girl. The table is so brilliant. Now, you're, there's the snail in the foreground. Everything else is called the background. So, we've got a background and foreground. The snail's in the background. So, let's exit design mode, the table. Marvelous. You are really amazing. And now, we're going to bring in a click event. Now, let me explain what that is. That's when the computer must do something. So, we drag the when click event into that window over there, into the space over there. Do that with table when clicking on and now we must choose which of the two things it says that we must clicking on the background so choose background Sarah I know has done this already she's a little bit ahead because and we when clicking on the background what must happen the make it move forward now when we say it we're talking about the snail so the table bring in the object our snail the snail will move. And look how smart she is. She straight away brought the snail object moving in this block. This is the when click background block. All right. And make it move forward one step, the table. Brilliant. And perfect. You can read you. You can go play your code. And it should say next challenge. Let's go ahead and have a look. Play the code. Now, when you play the code, you go to this little green button. That's for... All right, now let's click on the background and look at this. It says next challenge. Sarah's informed me she's on the last, last one. So she's quite advanced. And we'll close the video, Latavo. Close the video there. We won't watch the video. And this one says the snails are numbered one to five. Look there, snail two, snail three, snail four, and snail five. And snail one moves one step. Why does it move one step? Because it's named snail one. Now we're going to move snail two. And we're going to move it into the when clicked background block. Now look what Latabo has done. Latabo, go forward. And how many steps? Two. Clever. Because it's snail two. Now watch what happens. Latabo, I'm going to press here. And watch. Snail two is automatically moving. And that's not right. Can you see why? Look over here. Snail 2 is not in the when click background block. Look there. When I, that's the when click background block. So you have to move this block, the snail 2 block, into the when click background block. So let's do that. Go. Let's close the, the stop playing and move the snail 2 into that block. Watch what Latabo is doing. She's joining them together brilliant girl marvelous now bring in snail three four and five you really are quite smart and remember forward and she knows exactly how fast the snail must go because it's snail three snail four there's already a clue in the name about how fast it must go being snail four it's going to travel at the velocity or the speed of four and snail five also Look at that. She's marvelous. And five. All right. So now Latabo is going to bring them in the appropriate block. Watch what she does. She's going to drag them into the when click background block so that they're all in the right place. Coding is very much, boys and girls, like a system of things. If everything works well, it's got to be in the right place. All right, Latabo, you're welcome to. And also congratulations for that one. You did a marvelous job. Can you play that code? And let's see if you go to the next challenge. You've done, a, you've done a tremendous job. I think you're amazing. And she's going to click on the background. Remember, not the snail, but the background. And off they run. All the snails are going in a race. And we know how, sna how slow snails normally travel. All right, next challenge. And she's moving on. 
Videos are for people who really don't understand. The Tabo does understand her work well. And let's read it. It says, make the snails move. Random number of steps between 1 and 10. So it can choose a number between 1 and 10. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 10. All right, so the computer will choose. Now, Latabo, when you click on this, the 1, click on the 1 and choose random. Not that one, choose random. And look over here, by default, that means straight away it says the computer is going to choose a number, a random number, and the number could be 1, 2, 3, going all the way up to 10. The computer chooses a number. So how cool is that? You can get automation here. you got the computer doing stuff for you. Letaba, do that with all the snails. Change the random to them to random. Look what the Letaba is doing. Computerization, random numbers being chosen. Guys, if you're stuck, just watch the board because we we on YouTube, so we really don't want anyone to disturb us in the middle of our YouTube. Latabo is now going that the whole world could be watching her showing how to code. Now let's go, go to this one. It says, one of the snails isn't moving. I repeat that, is not moving. If it's not moving, we will need to find out which snail is not moving. So Latabo is going to click over here. Click over there, Latabo, on the background, and let's see which snail is not moving. Not moving. Okay, watch. Clicking on the background. Is nothing happening? Okay, well, we can work it out. We can work out which one it is. I'm just going to make your screen a little smaller. Make it smaller. Okay, look over there, Latabo. One of them hasn't got any code in it. So fix it. There we go. Look what she's doing. Choosing random. Now click on the background. Yay! Everyone's moving. It's fixed. All right. Go to yes. Congratulations on the five stars. I see Sarah's got five stars. And there's a few others have also got five stars. That means you've scored very well. Latabo, can you click on OK? The smiley face is smiling at you because you've done so well. And look over here. Now it says you must make your own. I repeat, make your own. And you must use everything that you learnt. Remember in the first step, you moved one, uh, your snail. Second step, you moved your, your, your snails. The third, third step, you went and used the, got the computer to remove the snails with a random. And now you must make your own. And look at Latabo. She's like making her own. And Latabo, before you go on, just watch carefully. I just want to interrupt you for a second. I hope you don't mind. If you go over there, go over there, my dear. And watch what she's doing, going to design mode, and you can then drag your snails in to bring them in. And Sarah's also following, and she's doing that. Well done to you two girls. I know in this class, there's some of the most intelligent uh, learners, and South Africa's co top coders might even come from this class. I see that there are many of you who love computers. And watch, Latabo will play it then. It's not going to play, but Latabo, if we go to... Go to your code, so stop, and go out of runtime, and exit design mode. Exit means to go out of design mode, and now you can bring in the code into this part over here. Just change that background, because you're going to bring in the snails into the when background clicked block. Remember that this block over here is called the when clicked block background block. Boys and girls, can we give a big and a loud clap for this wonderful goal, the Tabo. Hey, Latabo! Super goal! Right, boys and girls, I'm going to put the video off now, and we will give some of you also a chance to also do videos in the future, but well done to Latabo on showing us today. And Latabo, if you'd like to watch your YouTube video, it's going to be on YouTube in about... At